and mum are at the Scottish quilting show today. Um, we'll be doing a bit of looking around the quilting exhibition and then spending lots of pennies. Um, we will do some videos as we go around the day, catch up at lunchtime maybe. Um, and if there's anything that we feel that you might like to see, then we'll take some videos as we go. See you later. Bye. Sorry. So at the end of that last video, you might have seen my mum's attention go and look quite bored, shall we say, of my video. It's because this amazing quilt took my mum's attention. And as you see, as you move, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, it's very 3D. It's got a 3D effect. And that is what took mum's attention. So I am back home. It is now just after seven o'clock and Lewis is in bed. Um, we didn't get any more filming done. Um, we were too busy looking around, getting involved. My thoughts on this year's show is that it wasn't quite as good as last year. I'm just going to move this light out of the way a wee bit. Two seconds. That's better. Um, last year it seemed to be a lot bigger. Um, me and my mum both said that we struggled to spend our money a wee bit this year, which is very unlike us. Last year, by about lunchtime, we had spent the money that we had put aside for the show ten times over, and it was really a case of going away and having lunch and really deciding what we wanted to do. We both had a great day out. It was always good to spend some time with my mum, doing sewing and quilting and, and being involved in our hobbies. So it, it, it wasn't a bad day by any stretch of the imagination. But the show is definitely not as big as, as it has been in the past. Um, there's not as much stalls, there's not as much fabric. Just like to be a bit of inspiration, really. Um, so when we got there, we knew that there was a couple of lectures that we wanted to get to. Um, so we started just having a look around some of the quotes that were there. Um, I'm going to pop one of the quotes that I particularly like just up here. Um, it was a quote of like a glacier. Uh, like an iceberg so it was about what lies beneath and it's about giving the message that there's so much more goes on beneath the surface um, and it just really struck a chord to me I really really appreciated it and I think it's something we all need to remember at the minute um, with things like mental health and you just never know what's going on behind closed doors and how people are really feeling um, so it just it struck a, a real chord with me um, we were waiting for we, we knew we had about half an hour so we were looking at the quilt competition and you know there's some really fantastic quilts and it's always inspiration. Um, it's always, I wish I could be as good as that. I wish I could do that. So this year I want to get some more clothing quilts, clothing made and more quilting done um, and really just enjoy and, and improve the skills that I've got. Um, so we had planned to go to two lectures. We only actually made it to one. And the first one was by Bex Raven. So there's her card there. And... It was all about um, looking at how you can still do your crafts but be more aware of the impact it's having on the environment. Things like using the stash that you've got, trying to be aware when you're buying fabric. It's something, it's something we all do, but trying to be aware of if I buy this fabric, what am I going to use it for? Do I really need this fabric? If you are going to be using fabric, she spoke about thinking about... Um, more eco-friendly ways, so looking at how fabric's been produced and and where it's come from, what its carbon footprint is. Have you had have you bought fabric that's been shipped all the way across the world? When there's there's many producers in the UK that could have done it, um, and obviously it's not travelled as far and it's not had that same impact on the country and on the environment. Um, she is very much into what she calls craftivism. Um, so she gave everybody a banner. Um, so you can put a stick through the ends here and hang it up and she was encouraging us to embroider a message so something about recycling or saving the environment or whatever message you want to get out and then going and putting this banner up somewhere so that somebody will see it and somebody will see the message that's important Um I've not decided what I'm going to put on this just yet Um the environment is very important to me. I've got a five-year-old son and obviously pre preserving the environment, preserving this planet is something that I care deeply about. Um, but I just want to have a think about what I put on there um, so that I get a message that I feel is important to me. Um, the next thing that we were really keen to get doing was the Sashiko. 
um, Susan Briscoe, who I follow on Facebook, had put um, up on Facebook that there was the Yuzu Guild who were from who'd come over from Japan to do some sashiko um, tutorials. So me and my mom both went and initially you choose which sashiko pattern you want to do. So there's like the template and that's ultimately what it's going to look like. Um, so after it took us about an hour each to do hours, but this is my finished article. Um, it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, it was really quite therapeutic as well. Back, not so much. Um, but really, really enjoyed doing that. So me and my mum have both said, my mum had bought Sashiko last year at the show um, and said she'd really enjoyed it. So it's something that I was keen to try. So we then went to Susan's stand and I was chatting away um, in the skeins. I had chosen this dragonfly pattern to do um, and wanted to do it in a multicoloured way for the dragonflies and the lines to be in the red. So if you see that, you'll see there's like a crisscross pattern. There we go. There's like a crisscross pattern and then there's the actual dragonflies. Um, and when I was asking the, the ladies on the stall if that was enough, um, if there was enough of the thread there, she said, actually, you'll probably get two patterns out. So I then chose this one, which seems a lot more complicated. So it's like stars and circles. Um, so we bought an extra one for the stars. Um, so this would stand out because my fabric, it's like a purple fabric that the purple is going to be on. Um, and the dragonflies are kind of mustardy colour. It doesn't really show up very well on the picture. And got myself a pack of sashiko needles. Um, and that all came to £21 for that. I felt that was really quite reasonable. It's a couple of big projects there and the equipment to do it. Um, one of the major things that I was looking for was more fat quarters, to be honest. I wasn't very inspired by what was on offer. Um, but I did find a new... that I, I never really... I always have patterned fat quarters. Um, and I've, I've never really bought plain because I always think they're a bit boring. However, I've struggled. My husband and son are both Dundee United fans. And their colours are tangerine and black. And they are colours that are really difficult to find in fabric, I find. To find the right colour of... Um, orange or tangerine so when I found a fat quarter stall selling these two I thought I know what I'm gonna buy a pile of both of them and um, so one of them will be getting a quilt for their next birthday or Christmas Um I'll need to design something up um, to use with them um, I've got some graph paper which I'll use to design something for them I suspect if I make Stephen one then Lewis will steal it anyway so it should probably just be Lewis's um, so I got that and then we found Alison's Craft Emporium. I've spoken about them on the vlog before. Um, so we shop in Stewarton. Um, she's actually recently shut her shop down and she's relocating to a bigger shop um, still within Stewarton. But she had a remnants section. Um, so the remnants were £3 for each piece. So I found this lovely Christmas Scotty Dog fabric. Um, and I would say there's about a metre and a half of that for three pounds um, I'm looking to make a Christmas quilt this year um, so I thought that would be quite a nice backing to go on the back of it um, she also had this beautiful wool um, which is, is about a metre of so I'm hoping I'll have enough to get a skirt for my work out of let me just open it up um, so it's, be it's absolutely beautiful it's not really got any stretching um, so as I say, there's about a metre of that there, so I'm hoping to be able to make a skirt for work out of that. Um, I should be able, with a bit of pattern Tetris, to squeeze that in. Um, and the rest of it, really, we were just kind of looking about, trying to see, see what else we were interested in. I found this Marvel, um, I think it was half a metre for £3. Can't really see it, I don't want to unfold it just now, it's got all your superheroes in. Um, I do have some superhero fabric to make something for Lewis, I've not decided yet. What I'm going to make with that, so I thought if I top that up with another half metre, um, that makes two metres, so it should be a decent amount to make something nice for him with. Um, I plan on making the Stella hoodie um, with some fabric, which I'll show you later. Um, but we found a stall called Thimbles, and they were doing fat quarters of fleece, which I've never seen before. Um, so I've bought one, and I'm really hoping that that will be enough. 
it does say um, about half a metre for the for the lining of the hood um, but I'm hoping this will be enough to squeeze the hood lining out of if not it's a nice snuggly I'll make something nice and snuggly maybe make a, a baby's comforter or something out of that um, we then went to the Bombay stores fabric and I'm sure I think, I think they go to a lot of these kind of shows um, it's quite a big one they've got all their fat quarters they've got various different um, fabrics they've got jelly rolls so I got this kind of it's called winter warmer so I've got it's all kind of winter themed um it's a jelly roll that's winter themed so I plan on using that to make the top the the quilt top for the Christmas blanket to go with that Scotty Dog fabric and I'm um, also got a fat quarter with houses on we found a really interesting project based in Dumfries which we were both going to do where you make a postcard size up tiny little mini quilt um, so the front of it's got a picture of houses however you want to do them like a plique on and um, whatever design you want whatever colors you want and whatever kind of background you want um, and then on the back of it you just write your name and where you're from and send it into them and basically these are going to be traveling around the UK and um, she's hoping for the next next year's quilt show to be able to take them all there um, to have them on display next year and then afterwards when you when you send your postcard when you send your mini quilt in you send a stamped addressed envelope in with it and at the very end of the project you'll get one sent back to you it will not be the one that you made um, so you've got a memento of being involved in that so that's really exciting um, so me and my mum are both going to be doing that and last but not least um, we have got this sewing machine foundation paper piecing pattern um, that we really liked um, at the at me and my mum's monthly quilt club last month we were doing foundation paper piecing um, and I really really enjoyed it I found it really really fun didn't need to think quite as much as if you're following other patterns so I've got that pattern to give a bash um, and it's a 10 by 10 inch square so you'll be able to make it into things like cushions put it onto a tote bag and um, there's quite a lot that you can make with it put it on a wall hanging from a sewing room so I'm really excited to get stuck with that and it only takes two fat quarters as well um, so it doesn't take that much fabric so that is the end of my quilt show haul while I am here I also wanted to show you two pieces of fabric which I got from Harvey Jacobs um, Harvey Jacobs is an online store she's got a group on Facebook as well Harvey Jacobs Fabrics um, they're actually based in Caneland which is just down the road from me um, although I've yet to make it to to the warehouse it is an online company but if you speak to her in advance then you can go into the warehouse and have a look around and choose your fabric there um i am not brave enough to do that because i don't think it'll be particularly good for my bank balance because the fabrics that we see online are absolutely beautiful and they're all jerseys and i love sewing my jersey so the first one i got was two meters of this pink it's like pink on pink um stripey jersey um, so I think I'm going to make some kind of top with this um, maybe the Nora top um, I've never done any pattern matching just yet um, but so this will need to be my first bash at pattern matching but I'm thinking the Nora, tilling the buttons Nora top with this and then I also got this beautiful snuggly knit I don't, I don't even know what kind of, what kind of knit it is um, but if you see it's like a kind of waves and it's like a sea see a seascape there we go that's it the right way up um so you can see that so this is going to be my Stella hoodie with that um fleecy lining that I've already spoken about um so that's the first time I've ordered from Harvey Jacobs the service was really really quick the prices are really reasonable um took me a few minutes to work out I ordered it through Facebook um so it took a few minutes to work out she has like a Dropbox system so you can put at the start of the month basically you open a box at the start of the month and you can add to it throughout the month and then at the end of the month you pay your postage um, and you get everything that you've put into your box by that point it took me a wee bit of reading it the information's all there in the facebook group it just took me a wee bit to work out how it was meant to be working um, but the service was absolutely fantastic it came the next day it was dpd delivery it came really quickly really really impressed with that so if you have a look for her on Harvey Jacobs Fabrics on Facebook and she's also got a website as well. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. As you'll see it's getting dark outside now. I am going away for the weekend to Pitlochery 
Um, so I need to go and get packed. I've not even started packing for that yet, and I've not started packing Lucy's stuff. We've not had any dinner yet, and I've got work tomorrow as well. Um, so I've got a busy evening ahead of me. Um, if you like what you see, if you please subscribe below and press like. Um, let me know what you think of my videos. If there's anything you want to see me talking about in the future, if you want to see see what I've been up to, let me know it below. And also, you'll find me on Instagram, Nicola W Makes. Thanks for watching. Bye.